and we still this video is basically about Scottish nationalism and identity and um, I spent about five months in Scotland I mostly spent it in Edinburgh I spent like but a little bit of time in the Highlands and as being a person who is interested in in just um, remote landscapes, nature, devolution, which is the separation of a state of of a group of group, a smaller state from a larger state, in broadly terms speaking, um, Scotland is just very interesting, and Scotland has a. Uh, Scotland has like the most amount of mountains in the British Isles yeah. and the highest peak and the people in the north are used to like harsher winters so they have a little bit of like this slightly rugged um, way it's um Edinburgh is a, is a lot more I, I would even call it like more intellectual more snooty there's more money the Highlands are more like um, I mean it's kind of like similar to what you would get in the Pacific Northwest of the United States which have been are like lumber and fisheries towns and then just everybody in the in during the day during every single night goes out to a pub and just hangs out so this just makes it like like this is like the meeting place is like the pub so I would just go out to the pubs on a regular basis in Inverness and in Edinburgh the bars in Edinburgh were amazing there was like live performers there was a theater one of the bars I made a video on this um, but my, the main the, the my, my main focus about Scotland is basically the nationalism so as many people know Ireland and and Scotland have been according to Irish and Scots they have been they feel they've been oppressed by the Brits and if you look at the movie Braveheart everybody knows about a lot of people know about Braveheart Mel Gibson talks about this um, so as, as 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 we speak right now like Wales Scotland and Ireland are different countries Northern Ireland is associated is not associated with Southern Ireland in the in the case of Ireland it has a lot to do with religion since it's Catholic but in the case of Scotland it has to do a lot with a different identity so when you are there <clears throat> There's not a lot of English flags, they're mostly Scot Scottish flags, and there's a strong Scottish identity, and I mean, you can feel this all throughout the, your time there, you just get reminded that um, there, there's the Scottish unity in the whole area, and um, as I remember when I was there, it was, it was actually, at least for me when I was there, it was not necessarily easy to break in some of the working groups that I was part of because I mean the, the Scots wanted I mean they wanted to make sure that they that you knew that you were working in their in their place if this makes sense and I mean as a traveler this has positives and negatives but it's interesting and it's um, it's respectable to see people that are proud of their, their identity the, it, it, the area it, itself, it's very beautiful, like the coastlines are, are beautiful, the forests are very beautiful. And people argue if like English people will move there and if they can coexist with the Scots, and this is true. I, I, I mean, unless they're blasphemous, there's a lot of, there's several English, many English people living in Scotland and they just basically can live relatively easy and nice lives if they just are respectful. Um, in general, people were 
relatively friendly. I remember that whenever I needed something, it was usually provided for for me. I mean, there was um, I got a lot of the information that I needed. People were generally interested in knowing where I came from. I remember when I got there, a lady, when I got to the Highlands, a lady took me to their house and, and just basically said like, hey, how are you doing? Do you want to eat? Um, in the case of Edinburgh, I was, I, I was right next to the parliament. So I, I, as I think the, the cry or the identity of the Scots are just not really recognizing an English king and this makes sense from from a nationalistic standpoint so you could argue that that Southern Ireland or Ireland is much more independent to the British to to the um, to to England and then Wales it's much more closer to England and then um, Scotland is kind of like in the middle between Wales and, and Ireland, as far as similarities and differences. And I mean, obviously Scotland is in the same island than, than England and then Ireland is not. I'm trying to think about other things about Scotland.